Uh, morning guys. So I am on my way out to get the rabbits sold. We have a friend from the channel coming to do that. And then we have an appointment tonight to have somebody come look at Gunner. And if I can get those two things off my list and start to get things really tidied up so that there's less for John to do, then things should go a lot smoother. And I'm actually looking at things and realizing I could leave even sooner than I thought. We could try and leave by the 1st of May. If I can get everything tidied up and closed down, I would need to see if I can switch all my Airbnbs to different dates. But it, that might simplify things. Anyway, I'm going to go out and get that ready. And heading to Idaho, I'm going to do things a little differently this time. Every other time I stocked things up because we were trying to stock the little cabin for the summer or we were trying to bring everything here for the winter. This time we're going to have only two changes of clothes, meaning what we're wearing and the one that we're not wearing. We're going to take, what You're was that? You're not gonna wear both of them? We're not gonna wear both of them. It might be a little warm for that. Although going through Colorado and Wyoming this time of year, you can get blizzards and stuff. Last year we did get blizzards in April as we drove through Wyoming. Uh, so, I'm excited because I'm trying to see this as a challenge. Rather than looking at it as a difficulty, I'm going to play a game with myself and say, how easy can I make this trip? How minimal can I keep things? If we only have one extra change of clothing, then he is my let's make filming as much fun for Julie later when she's trying to fix the audio oh, as possible. For eating on the road, I'm going to take hard-boiled eggs, turnips, cheese, water, and keep it very, very simple and very keto, as keto as I can. It We eat a lot less when we're on keto than if we're adding in a lot of sugars and a lot of starches. But I am going to bring everything else. I'm going to bring the dry beans, the split peas, all the flours, so that I don't have to restock my tiny house kitchen when we get there. It costs me a couple hundred dollars to restock every time I do it. So if I just bring it from here, it doesn't get wasted. And um, just before we leave, I'm going to buy everybody uh, a new pair of shoes. Everybody, with, with an exception of me, I need to get the girls new shoes. And we may need to buy new coats. We were really hard on our coats this winter. And maybe hats, because when we get back to Idaho in May, it's still cold enough at night and you can still have really cold nights because we have really hard frost until the end of June. Okay, so I always get my bins at Target because they're generally at least $3 a piece cheaper and I get the clear ones if I'm packing. If I'm making raised beds, like self-watering containers, you get the opaque ones. But if you're packing, it's so much easier if you can just see in to the box. And when we're moving across the country and we're living out of the van, then um, we just use so many of these. Oh my gosh, did they take the price up? No. Okay, so these are $5.89 with the lid. They're wonderful and they last for years, as long as you don't have them out in the sunlight. Well, why don't you just take the two or whatever out of the top? The two? I am. Count six from the bottom. Two at a time. But these ones are really bad about sticking. One, two, three. Okay, so we need one more. I'll take this out. Oh, they stink. Stinker markers. Make sure they don't have any cracks in them. All right, we're good. So much fun. So much fun. So these are the kitchen goods that we will be taking. You can see they're all dry good types of things. This is my little bag of essential oils. I do not put them in the same container as my homeopathics because if there was a spill, it would ruin my homeopathics. These are the cookbooks that I'm taking. Dining on a Dime. It has all my basics for things like salad dressing and um, some 
quite a few of my breads, I can switch the recipe in here to be gluten-free or keto. And then this one. So these are my two cookbooks that I'm taking. And then I have vitamins and uh, let's see, some tea. But you can see I keep them in these Rubbermaid totes and I can see directly in to see which box I need at any given time. We do the same thing with clothes and bedding. And then I'll have one for school books. I will not be taking the spinning wheel. This does fold down and it is a travel wheel. So it just snaps down like that and it travels very easily. These just pop off and they store on the inside. So I could take that, but I already have a spinning wheel at the cabin and so there's no point in bringing this when really what I'm needing to do is pack up the spinning wheel in the cabin and bring it. I am taking the dry goods because that way I don't have to make a big grocery purchase. When I get there, we can just settle in, not have to spend as much money on groceries, get a few fresh things, and that way John doesn't have to try and eat up what we're leaving behind because he doesn't generally eat this kind of food. You can use your frozen vegetables and frozen meat as the ice in your cooler. And <clears throat> it means you're and when you first start out, when your cooler is full, you're not taking up all that space with just regular ice that you're not going to be eating later. Instead, it's frozen vegetables, frozen meat. They keep themselves cool, and as you eat some of it, there's more space so that now you can put in ice. It works really, really well. Okay, so this is the last of it. Oh my, you can hear all the squealing outside. Uh, I have everything else packed except for the frozen food that's going to be going into this cooler. I didn't get one with wheels. I didn't get a huge one. Hey, okay, honey. To me. To me. <gasps> so starting to rain. Should everybody come in? They want to play in the rain. They want to play in the rain. Are you going to go play in the rain? No. You, you don't want to play in the rain? Okay. We are uh, central station here. So uh, this is the size that I got because anything bigger than this is just too much. Uh, it's, it would take up too much space for the trip and it's just more food than what we could keep in the little off-grid cabin. Uh, so this is the last of it. We have crafting stuff. We have our one box of clothes. We have two books for each of the kids. And I have my camera gear, and that's it. That's what we're taking, just because we don't need to take more than that. Sorry. Trying not to show children of the neighborhood. But that's what it looks like at this point. There we go. This is how I pack. I try to keep it really simple, and hopefully you'll follow us as we go see these amazing Airbnbs that I've booked. Just to see interesting ways to make money on your homestead and interesting ways to live, period. So make sure to go watch our videos and thanks for checking in. is a library. It might just be a recreation center, but it said that it was a library. So we're going to go in and we can see. It might be like a reservation type of a library. I don't know. We'll have to go see. We have about two hours to kill before we uh, go to uh, the next spot. Paige and I slept upstairs. Kai slept on the pull-up bed. This does have radiant heat. We didn't have to use it. It was very cold last night outside. It was
was very warm in here without using any kind of heat. Um, it did not get muggy or stale in here, but I will say that the, um, the bathroom is a little muggy, a little warm, the heater that goes with the composting toilet. But it's been delightful. There's nothing wrong with the dome itself. And it's interesting to see a different type of toilet. And we have really enjoyed our stay here. Have we not, children? Yes. We have. I have loved it. It's so fun. Yep, it's been super fun. So we're about to take off. We're heading to Colorado. Hey guys, there we are. In all her uh, redneck glory. Um, super excited. Everything looks fine. We've been gone since um, the end of November. So it looks like the plastic held up. I didn't want snow blowing into the porch. We had a lot of tools out here. So. I found my old shoes. I found my old shoes. Where's our lasso out here? Okay. Oh, maybe because. Okay, so the paper is a little bit wet, a little damp. There may have been some humidity out in the greenhouse on top, on front of the house. So we'll see how well it drafts. This chimney is a double wall chimney, and so is the insert into the window. Uh, Darwin over at Honeydew Carpenter made it, and you can see how nice it draws. So are you going to go over and give hugs? Kai, do we want to go over and to... The greenhouse on the front of the shed makes the biggest difference in heat retention. It's still going to be cold for another two months. Um, you're, you're still really cold at night in May and sometimes during the day. But there we go. I'll try to back slowly into the cabin so I don't have bad light. Don't you love the kids art? And this one, this one is from Little Mountain Ranch. <laughs> 